Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is a tour of the latest Windows Mobile 6.5 ROM to come out of XDA developers. Now we've shown you Windows Mobile 6.5 ROMs in the past, but I think this is closer to what we're actually going to see when it's released. Um, this brings a lot of the new changes that we saw at the Mix 2009 conference, which is kind of a developer con conference that Microsoft is heavily involved in. And in this particular ROM, um, we don't have the honeycomb interface on the start menu. Instead, we just have a bunch of icons arranged in a staggered kind of way. So let me walk you through all of the changes, and I think you're going to be impressed with what you see. So as we know, the sliding panel interface comes over from Windows Mobile 6.1, uh, but there are two ways to actually move this. We can slide the magnifier itself, like so, or we can actually move the entire background like so, and the magnifier will stay stationary. And of course, we can slide our finger to the right and to the left. And I think this is a really smooth way to use it because you can you have the option of moving slowly with your finger like that or jumping really fast to the top by moving the magnifier area. Okay, so let's take a look at the start menu. And as we can see here in the start menu, we no longer have the honeycomb grid. We just have a bunch of icons. And we get a little highlighting area, and that highlighting area implies that um, that is the icon that is currently selected. So if you have a D-pad on your device, you can move around and that sort of thing. But yeah, we no, no longer have the honeycomb interface. Now, something else that is different for Windows Mobile 6.5 that we really haven't noticed yet is that the waiting cursor has changed, the cursor that tells you that the device is thinking. So let me try to bring that up. I'm going to click on File Explorer. Maybe you'll see it there. And let me go to Windows, because that is always a file that takes a long time to show up. Yep, see it right there? That is the new waiting cursor, so just a bunch of little dots moving around. And as you probably also know, um, in Windows Mobile 6.5, there are new soft key menus. They're, they're further evolved in this build. Let me show you what they look like. So really nice. You can flick your finger all the way from bottom to top to kind of carousel through them. And we also get a little fade here when, so that we know which soft key we've actually chosen there. And actually, the kinetic scrolling is totally new. As you can see, it's very springy, very bouncy. If I flick my finger, it's quite smooth. Of course, it's not going to be as smooth as it is when it gets released. But uh, this is a huge improvement over previous builds of Windows Mobile 6.5 that we had on XDA developers. So that's pretty much it for the latest build of Windows Mobile 6.5. It's working out to be a much more refined operating system than we even saw a few months ago. Um, as we saw in this video, there are three new things that we can look forward to. We have the start menu without the honeycomb boundaries. We have the much better flick scrolling that you can find in other programs. And of course, we have the uh, new waiting cursor, which kind of just gives you a nice look and feel when you're waiting for something to happen. Oh, and by the way, the, um, the today screen is much easier to navigate now that we have two different ways to move along the magnifying glass. So that's it for now. For more on Windows Mobile 6.5, keep it to pocketnow.com for more. That's it for now.